Hey everyone, welcome to Chad Gallivanter, the channel where you'll find travel tips and guides that won't waste your time. I'm Chad, and whether you're looking for the most scenic places to visit, the most fun things to do, or the hidden gems that only locals know about, I've got you covered. So if you're ready to do some gallivanting with me, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to never miss a video. Are you planning a trip to St. Augustine, the oldest city in the U.S.? If so, you might be wondering where to stay in this historic and charming destination. Whether you're looking for a romantic getaway, a family-friendly vacation, or a solo adventure, St. Augustine has something for everyone. On today's episode, I'm sharing with you the 10 best hotels and places to stay in St. Augustine, based on my personal experience and research. These are not sponsored recommendations, but honest opinions from a fellow traveler. The gallivanting starts now. St. Augustine Beach House. Stunning views and cozy rooms, exactly what you'll find at St. Augustine Beach House. This hotel is located on Volano Beach, a fun retro community across the bridge from St. Augustine. It offers 16 spacious and airy suites, each with a private balcony overlooking the Atlantic Ocean. The hotel also provides beach chairs, umbrellas, towels, and toys for you to use on the beach. The hotel is dog friendly, so you can bring your furry friend along for some fun in the sun. Bayfront Marin House. The Bayfront Marin House is a charming bed and breakfast in the historic district across from Matanzas Bay. It offers 17 rooms and suites, each with its own unique decor. Whether you prefer a cozy fireplace, a whirlpool tub, a four-poster bed, or a private balcony, you will find your perfect match at the Bayfront Marin House. Every morning, you can savor a delicious breakfast with fresh pastries, fruit, yogurt, granola, and more. You can also choose to have your breakfast delivered to your room or served on the porch overlooking the bay. Voco St. Augustine Across the Bridge of Lions on Anastasia Island, you'll find one of the city's newest and most stylish places to stay. Voco St. Augustine has just over 120 cozy rooms with one king or two queen beds along with refrigerators, plush linens, and invigorating showers. The hotel's bistro serves local seafood and coastal fare with a twist and a casual setting. Voco offers a different way to enjoy St. Augustine with charm and personality, whether you're traveling for business or pleasure. Embassy Suites Ten minutes from historic downtown in St. Augustine Beach is an embassy suites right on the ocean. You can enjoy the stunning ocean views from your balcony as well as the spacious suites with separate living and sleeping areas. One of the best features of this hotel is the free made-to-order breakfast that is served every morning in their signature restaurant, Harvest and Real. If you want to beat the heat, you can take a dip in the outdoor pool, which is one of the largest in the area. Overall, this is a great choice for your beach stay with excellent service, amenities, and location for a reasonable price. Marker 8 Hotel and Marina Marker 8 Hotel and Marina is a secret treasure overlooking the bayfront on Anastasia Island. This three-star hotel has over two dozen rooms with a boating theme, some with marina or waterfront views. The property includes an outdoor pool, a garden, and a shared lounge. Good affordable option here and a short walk to historic downtown via the Bridge of Lions. Hilton Garden Inn, St. Augustine Historic District. Near the Fountain of Youth and Old Jail Museum, the Hilton Garden Inn on US-1 is a new convenient place to stay at a reasonable price. 
The rooms are spacious and clean with all the modern conveniences you expect, along with these really cool workspaces. Dog-friendly rooms also available. The Local You'll find vintage with a hint of modern at The Local. This 20-room motel has a flamingo pink facade, palm frond wallpaper, and seaside artwork that will make you think you've traveled back to the 1950s. But don't let the retro style fool you. The local offers a contactless digital experience that will make your stay easy and convenient. You can check in and out using your own smartphone. This is a hip, affordable option minutes from downtown. The Collector Luxury Inn and Gardens If you're looking for a place to stay that combines the charm of history with the comfort of luxury, you might want to consider the Collector Luxury Inn and Gardens. This inn is not your typical hotel, but rather a collection of nine restored 18th century houses that offer 30 individually appointed rooms, each with its own character and features. The inn was once the home of Kenneth Dow, a prominent collector of art and antiquities who amassed over 10,000 items from around the world. Many of these items are displayed throughout the inn, allowing you to tell folks back home you spent a night at the museum. Renaissance Across the street from Ripley's Believe It or Not and a short walk from the fort is the Renaissance St. Augustine Historic Downtown Hotel. This newer hotel offers a blend of old world charm and modern luxury. The Renaissance has a Victorian style exterior that pays homage to the iconic Hotel San Marco, which stood on the same site from the mid 1880s through 1974. From the sleek lobby to the modern rooms, the hotel is designed with your comfort in mind. The hotel has a variety of amenities to make your stay enjoyable, such as an outdoor pool, a fitness center, a coffee shop, and a restaurant. Casa Monica Hotel Located in the heart of the St. Augustine Historic District, the Casa Monica Hotel is one of the most iconic landmarks in the city, dating back to the late 1800s. It features stunning Moorish-style architecture that blends vintage charm with modern amenities. You can choose from standard rooms, premium rooms, suites, or even one-of-a-kind tower suites that offer panoramic views of the city. The Casa Monica also boasts a world-class dining experience at its on-site restaurant. And if that wasn't enough, you can also relax and unwind at the Poseidon Spa, which offers a range of soothing skin treatments and massages. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed exploring the 10 best hotels and places to stay in St. Augustine with me. This historic city has so much to offer from beautiful beaches and architecture to rich culture and cuisine. Whether you're looking for a cozy bed and breakfast, a luxurious resort, or a budget-friendly motel, you'll find something that suits your needs and preferences in St. Augustine. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more travel tips and guides. And don't forget to comment below and let me know which hotel or place you would like to stay in when you visit St. Augustine. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you out there gallivanting.